we found out how happy Andrew is with the machine, but let's get technical with Matt Lee. For starters, let's talk about the bar feet. Sure, it's, a, it's an FMB, it's a German brand that we supply. We also service our bar feeders as well. So it's quite a unique feature for us. Yeah. Um, you've got the new touchscreen controllers you can see there. So this makes things a lot easier for setting up and a lot easier for the, uh, the user to make the machine run a lot quicker. Okay, and going forward, um, software? Yeah, so latest fan of control. So basically uh, the fastest one we've got on there at the moment. A few features built into this uh, for the star machines. So basically help the operators do a lot more than you can normally do on any other machines in the past. Now I know that Andrew was uh, talking about quite exotic materials, so you're going to need a little bit of a, a power, and I know you call this machine a powerhouse. Talk us through the spindles, the speed. Yeah, so it's a heavy machine as well, so it's just over four tonnes, so it's a heavy for our type of machine. 11 kilowatts on the main spindle, so that's actually the same power as you've got on our bigger 38 millimeter machines. So in, on the uh, live tools, we got up to three kilowatts on the live tools on the main spindle. So you can take a lot of heavier cuts as well. And what optional extras have you got within this particular spe uh, specified machine? All right, so because we've got a high pressure cooler, one of the things to help the guys with the setup times is these flexible lines you can see here. So in the past, there'd be uh, hard lines. So you had to bend yourself, uh, depending on what tool you're doing. So if you're changing jobs, that'd be quite a bind on. Yeah, exactly. So this kind of setup is a lot easier. It makes things a lot quicker. Okay, and your HFT technology? Yeah, absolutely. So our chip breaking software is built into this machine. Because these guys are running some fun materials, anything to help you know, make the machine keep on running. Right. Anything else within the machine that they've got? Not so much on this one. The rest of it's fairly standard in terms of the tools in there. Uh, we've got a Swarf conveyor, a higher spec, so you've got uh, filters and scrapers built into it. Okay, why have you got that then? How does that benefit the end user? Okay, so for customers who are working with materials where the Swarf can be really fine, if you didn't have that feature in the Swarf conveyor, you're going to have to stop the machine at some point to yeah. clean it out. Yeah. So it's downtime where you're not making enough money. So you see how fine that is, and they're getting it out of the machine. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Anything else to add, Matt? Yeah, I mean, with great assistance from our partners. You've got LNS for the swarm conveyor, uh, absent or filter mist for the mist extraction, and pumps and equipment for the high pressure pumps. So, really, you're creating a full solution here, aren't you? Yeah, and it's all been uh, color coded to our brand as well, so it all looks good. There you go. Thanks, Matt. No worries.